Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs for mobile optimized ebooks. Please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, you can join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel, GK Today YouTube. Now, let's start. Which union minister released ebook on standard treatment guidelines for substance use disorders and behavioral addictions? So recently these guidelines were released by Dr. Harshwadhan who is present health minister. Ambala Air Base where the first batch of Rafale fighter jets arrived is in which Indian state? So it is in Haryana. So recently India got its first batch of Rafale fighter jets and they landed at Ambala Air Force in Haryana. Which power producer is the first to complete all wind power projects awarded by SCCI that is Solar Energy Corporation of India. So this is Sembcorp Energy India and it is a subsidiary of Sembcorp Industries and it is a company of Singapore. A new helicopter service has been unveiled in which state under Udan scheme and it will be operated by Pawan Hans Limited. So this will be in Uttarakhand and this has been announced under Udan scheme. Udan stands for Uday Deska Aam Nagrik and this will be operated by Pawan Hans Limited. Which country has claimed Diao Islands as its territory and declared its right to conduct law enforcement agencies? So this is a disputed island between China and Japan. And Japan called these islands as Senkaku Islands while China called these islands as Diao Islands. Which two cities are additionally selected by Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs to be made as smart cities? So these two cities are Leh and Kargil. These cities will be developed as smart cities. Recently, MOHUA, that is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, formed a team and this team will be headed by Rahul Kapoor. What is the name of robotic Mars rover launched by NASA? So the name of this rover is Perseverance and the name of the helicopter is Ingenuity. So please remember that Perseverance is rover and Ingenuity is the helicopter. Who has been appointed as the MD and Group CEO of ICRA Limited? So recently, N. Sivraman has been appointed as the MD and Group CEO of ICRA. ICRA is a credit rating agency. Subhash Chandra Bose Abda Prabandhan Puruskar is awarded by which union ministry? So this is awarded by Ministry of Home Affairs. And this is for the contribution of individuals as well as the contribution of institutions in the disaster management. Why this award was in news recently? Because the government of India invited the nominations for this award. And this award is presented on the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. What is the modified deadline for filing income tax returns as announced by the union government? So the new deadline is September 30. And for income tax, we have ITD, that is Income Tax Department. And it is a government agency responsible for the direct tax collection. Which technology company released a security endpoint threat report 2019? So it was released by Microsoft. And as per this report, India is one of the highest vulnerable countries and India registered the seventh highest malware encounters and third highest ransomware encounters across the Asia Pacific region. The Indian government has imposed safeguard duty on which product till July 2021 to protect domestic manufacturers? Right answer is solar cells. So recently Indian government imposed safeguard duty on solar cells for one more year to protect the domestic manufacturers. What will be the effective contribution by the employees and employers to the EPF from August 2020? So it is going to be 24%. That means 12% from employer and 12% from employees. In the month of May, Finance Ministry reduced the EPF contribution by 4% and this was reduced only for 3 months. Which financial institution has launched the MSME Saksham portal in association with TransUnion Sibyl? So this has been launched by Sibbi in association with TransUnion Sibyl. What is Sibbi? It is Small Industries Development Bank of India. What is the name of portal? It is MSME Saksham portal. Next question is. What is the name of nodal agency that will regulate the use of ISRO facilities by private sector? So the name of this entity is InSpace. What is the full form of InSpace? It is 
Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center. So this will be the nodal agency to regulate the space activities and to regulate the use of ISRO facilities by private sector. Now what is ISRO? It is Indian Space Research Organization. It is under Department of Space. Which trade association organized the National Digital Conference on Ease of Doing Business for Atam Nirbhar Bharat? So this was organized by CII, that is Confederation of Indian Industry. And the name of the conference was National Digital Conference on Ease of Doing Business for Atam Nirbhar Bharat. Next is Sonam Sering Lepcha, who passed away recently, was associated to which field? So he was folk musician and he passed away recently in West Bengal. Now apart from him, recently few other personalities passed away. Kamal Rani Varun, who was a minister in UP government, passed away recently. Next question is, Bido is the navigation satellite system commissioned by which country? So it is a navigation system of China. And recently it was in news because China is celebrating the completion of Bido navigation system. And recently its 55th and final satellite was launched. Next question is, India has imposed Restrictions on the import of which electronic gadget after two decades? So recently, India imposed restrictions on the import of color television. Now, DZFT, that is Directorate General of Foreign Trade, notified the change. And now, color television sets are in restricted category. Previously, they were in free category. Now, they are in restricted category. Next question is, what is the name of mobile application launched by the Directorate of Cashew Research? So the name of this application is Cashew India. So this application has been launched to provide a support to the farmers of Cashew. Next question is, which is the first armed police force to partner with KVIC to procure products for its personnel? So it is ITBP, that is Indo-Tibetan Border Police. So recently ITBP partnered with KVIC to procure products for its personnel. Next question is, which international bloc has imposed its first ever sanctions over cyber attacks on the organizations of Russia, China and North Korea. So right answer is European Union. Recently European Union has imposed first ever sanctions over cyber attacks on the alleged agents, spies and firms of Russia, China and North Korea. Next question is, who is the head of sports ministries committee to select this year's national sports awards winners? So this committee will be headed by Justice Mukundkam Sharma and this committee will select the award winners among both athletes and coaches. Next question is, what is the name of India's solar powered ferry that has won the prestigious Gustav Trove award? So the name of this ferry is Aditya and recently it was in news because it won this Gustav Trove award and this was the first solar powered ferry which was launched in our country and it started its operations in 2017 and it started its operations in Kerala. Mahatma Gandhi Setu, that means bridge, which was in use recently is located in which state of India. So recently this bridge was in use because the upstream land of this bridge was inaugurated by Minister of Road Transport and Highways, that means Mr. Nitin Gadkari, which global institution has inked deal with Reliance Power for constructing power plant in Bangladesh. So recently ADB that is Asian Development Bank signed a deal with Reliance Bangladesh LNG and Power Limited. So this is an agreement of 200 million dollars and this has been signed between Asian Development Bank and Reliance. Which global firm became the world's most valuable publicly listed company after surpassing Saudi Aramco? So recently Apple became the world's most valuable publicly listed company. So the market capitalization of Aramco is 1.760 trillion while the market capitalization of Apple is 1.82 trillion. What is the limit of turnover above which companies are mandated to submit e-invoice? So right now this amount is 500 crore rupees. Recently this was notified by the government under GST. What is GST? It is goods and services tax. Previously, this limit was 100 crore. Now, it is 500 crore rupees. That means if your turnover is over 500 crore rupees, you are mandated to submit sales invoice electronically. India observed 
the 100th death anniversary of which freedom fighter on 1st of August? Right answer is Bal Gangadhar Tilak. So this was 100th death anniversary and therefore it is very important from exam perspective. He was integral part of a trio named Lal, Bal, Pal. That is Lala Lajpat Rai, Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Bipin Chandra Pal. Which country successfully operated Arab world's first nuclear power reactor? So this country is UAE, that is United Arab Emirates. And the name of this power reactor is Barak Power Reactor. It is the name of place. And it is built and run by a joint venture with Korea, that is South Korea. How many states or union territories implement the One Nation One Ration Card scheme as on 4th of August? So 24 states and union territories have implemented this scheme. What is the objective of the scheme? Objective is to ensure the portability of ration card. That means if you are migrating from one state to another state, even after migration, you should be able to assess the benefits of various food security programs. Which major technology company launched the second phase of more together campaign in our country. So this is a campaign of Facebook and recently it was in news because of its second phase. So what is the objective of this campaign? Through this campaign, the Facebook will spotlight people. That means Facebook will focus on those people who connected with each other through Facebook and who jointly addressed various challenges. What is the theme of World Breastfeeding Week? So the theme was support breastfeeding for a healthier planet. And from 1st of August to 7th of August, this World Breastfeeding Week is celebrated to spread awareness about the benefits of breastfeeding. And this campaign was initially organized by WABA. What is WABA? It is World Alliance for Breastfeeding Action. What is the name of Incubator Enhancement Program which was launched by Atal Innovation Mission? So the name of this program is AIM iCrest. And recently, Atal Innovation Mission in collaboration with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and with Vadwani Foundation launched this AIM iCrest. Where is the All India Institute of Ayurveda located? So this institute is in New Delhi. Recently it was in news because it has started providing free testing and treatment to the COVID-19 patients. MyGOV platform has announced a logo design contest for which government program in August 2020. So this logo design contest has been announced for Atam Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Recently MyGOV was in news as it completed 6 years. It was launched in 2014. Which Indian journalist has been named the winner of Prem Bhatia Award for Political Reporting? Right answer is Mr. Dipankar Ghosh. So he is a special correspondent of Indian Express and he won this Prem Bhatia Award for Political Reporting. Which state has launched a cyber crime awareness program named Eraksha Bandhan? So this is an initiative by Andhra Pradesh. Now this is a cyber crime awareness campaign. Recently the state of Andhra Pradesh was also in news because of restart package. So this restart package was started by Andhra Pradesh to provide boost to the MSME sector. Who is set to become the first non-white person to feature on a British coin? Right answer is Gandhiji. So Mr. Rishi Shunak, who is the Chancellor of Exchequer, has sent a recommendation to RMAC. What is RMAC? It is Royal Mint Advisory Committee. So a new campaign is in news and the name of the campaign is V2 Built Britain. Next question is what is the maximum amount of guaranteed emergency credit line funding under ECLGS scheme after the notification in August 2020? Right answer is 10 crore. So recently union government expanded the emergency credit line guarantee scheme by doubling the upper ceiling of the loans. Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises has launched a program called has launched a program for Agarbati artisans under which scheme? The name of this scheme is Gramodyog Vikas Yojana. So what is the objective of this program? Objective is to develop the village industry under Gramodyog Vikas Yojana. Which zone of Indian Railways operated the first ever Vyapar Mala Express train? Right answer is Northern Railways. So Northern Railway operated the first ever Vyapar Mala Express train from Delhi to Jirania. Now this Jirania is in Tripura. On which day 
the sanskrit divas that is sanskrit day is celebrated so it is celebrated on 3rd of august so 3rd of august is celebrated as sanskrit divas and it is celebrated on the full month of shravan month of hindu calendar which oil company has formed a joint venture to manufacture bitumen derivatives so french energy giant total sa has decided to collaborate with ioc that is indian oil corporation so this is going to be a joint venture and they are going to manufacture and market high quality bitumen derivative what is the name of crew dragon spacecraft from which nasa astronauts landed back to earth so it is endeavor and two astronauts of nasa bob benken and doug harley who flew to the iss that is international space station landed back to earth they flew to the international space station through this new crew dragon now they return back to earth and the name of this spacecraft is endeavor so these are the astronauts of nasa what is nasa it is the space agency of usa that is national aeronautics and space administration zero immobil who was in news is associated to with sports so he is associated to football and he is italian professional footballer that means he is from italy and he play from football club named lazio recently he was in news because he won the domestic golden boot and european golden shoe award what is the name of book that has been released with essays on swachh bharat mission so it is swachh bharat kranti it is a book of essays on this sbm what is sbm it is swachh bharat mission which technology company is to set up robotics laboratory at iisc bengaluru to study about 5g technology so this company is nokia and it will be set up at iisc bengaluru and it will be set up to study about 5g technology which indian city featured in the top 20 most surveyed cities a survey which was conducted by comparitec so as per this survey hyderabad is the most surveyed city of india what is the meaning of surveyed city that means this city has most number of surveillance cameras so overall hyderabad is on 16th position but in india it is on top position and the survey was conducted by comparitec it is a uk based firm which company has been approved to set up the third power exchange of india right answer is ptc india so it has been approved to set up the third power exchange now please understand that cerc that is central electricity regulatory commission has approved the application of pran urja solutions and this pran urja solutions is a company which is promoted by bsc ptc india and by icici bank so it will be the third power exchange of india the information and broadcasting ministry has launched a dedicated doordarshan channel for which state so recently this was announced for assam and it is going to be dd assam channel now recently the state was also in news as it decided that poba reserve forest in assam will be upgraded as wildlife sanctuary abraham alkazi who passed away recently was associated with which field so he was associated with arts and he was the longest serving director of nsd that is national school of drama he passed away recently which union ministry signed memorandum of understanding with darpg and iit kanpur for analysis of grievances using artificial intelligence so recently mod that is ministry of defense signed agreement with iit kanpur and darpg now what is this darpg it is department of administrative reforms and public grievances which mode of payment clocked its highest monthly transactions since its inception so it is upi it has recorded highest transactions in the month of july which indian state has signed memorandum of understanding with leading mncs such as itc png and hindustan unilever for women empowerment so this state is state of andhra pradesh this has been signed for women empowerment which indian state is to set up the country's first snow leopard conservation center so this will be set up by the state government of uttarakhand and it was recently announced by uttarakhand chief minister mr trivendra singh rawat and this center will be opened in uttarkashi forest division and it is set up jointly with the help of undp that is united nation development program 
and it is a part of a project called Secure Himalayas. So this will be India's first snow leopard conservation center. Mohammed Irfan Ali has been sworn in as the new president of which South American country? Right answer is Guyana. So first thing is that he is appointed as new president and he is the new president of Guyana. Guyana is a South American country. I am Sir Moore, which was in news recently, is located in which Indian state? So this is located in Himachal Pradesh. And recently, the foundation stone for this I am was laid down by Union Education Minister Mr. Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. Which country has witnessed a massive blast that occurred by explosives stored at a port? So recently, Lebanon was in news because of this blast and this blast held in the Beirut. It is the capital city of Lebanon. Over 44 lakh tons of food grains were taken by the states and union territories under which scheme? So the name of the scheme is Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anniyojana. So this is a scheme which was announced by the government to provide food. Which technology company launched a new file sharing feature nearby share? So it is related to Google and it will have the option of sharing files offline as well as online. The first anniversary of creation of which Union Territory or Territories was observed on 5th of August. So it is related to Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. So the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir was bifurcated into two Union Territories. One is Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, another one is Union Territory of Ladakh. Recently, the former LG of Union Territory of Governor resigned. Former LG was Mr. G.C. Murmu. Which telecom company of India has partnered with AWS that is Amazon Web Services to provide cloud solutions to the business. So recently Airtel partnered with AWS to provide the cloud solutions. Which institute has developed India's first ICMR approved mobile RT-PCR lab? So this is IISC Bengaluru that is Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru has developed India's first ICMR approved mobile RT-PCR lab and it is called as MITR. As per the Petroleum Ministry, what is the minimum net worth to be eligible for obtaining license to sell the petrol and diesel? So the amount is Rs. 500 crores and recently the Petroleum Ministry revised guidelines in this context. So as per the new guidelines, the net worth of at least 500 crore rupees should be there in order to be eligible to sell both bulk as well as in retail. If the net worth is about 250 crore rupees, then one can get the license for either retail or bulk, but not for both. Which Indian film won the best film award at the New York Indian Film Festival 2020? So this film is Muthun and it is a Malayalam movie. Malayalam is the official language of Kerala and Malayalam is a classical language. The electronic vaccine intelligence network that is even is being implemented under which program so it is a part of nhm that is national health mission in our previous lectures we have already covered what is even so it is a part of national health mission which country successfully launched an intercontinental ballistic missile named minuteman 3 so this is a missile by usa and it is an intercontinental ballistic missile what is the meaning of intercontinental that means its range is beyond one continent it can damage its target in an another continent as well. The COVID-19 BWM mobile app which was in news recently has been developed by which organization? So it has been developed by CPCB that is Central Pollution Control Board. So all the municipal corporations and state pollution boards are directed by the Supreme Court to upload the information regarding the biomedical waste disposal. What is the new repo rate after the Monetary Policy Committee meeting of August 2020. So recently it was in news because RBI held its second bi-monthly monetary policy meeting and the new repo rate is 4% and it is unchanged. That means it is same as last time. The Mars test rocket of which space company was successfully flight tested with an upward landing. So it is SpaceX. SpaceX is headed by Elon Musk and recently SpaceX was in news because of this test. So recently it flight tested the prototype of its Mars rocket ship. Which technology company has partnered with Prashar Bharti 
for AI enabled Independence Day celebrations. So recently, Prashar Bharti and Google collaborated for this event. Which financial institution has announced to set up an innovation hub for the financial inclusion? So it is an initiative of RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India. So this innovation hub will be set up to assist the startups to tackle the challenges of financial inclusion. India extended a line of credit of 18 million US dollars to which country to expand fishing facilities. So this country is Maldives and this line of credit is part of line of credit that has been offered by India to the Maldives. What is the enhanced limit for loan against gold after the recent direction of Reserve Bank of India? So the enhanced limit is 90% and recently RBI increased the amount of loan that banks can provide against the pledge of gold ornaments and jewelry. Which institute won the first prize in the Smart India Hackathon 2020? So recently DIAT that is Defense Institute of Advanced Technology won the first prize in the Smart India Hackathon. And this hackathon was organized by AICTE and Ministry of Human Resource Development. So this DIAT is under Defense Ministry. Sadia Dehelvi, who passed away recently, was associated with which profession? So, she passed away recently and she was a well-known writer. And she was the editor of Urdu journal. And the name of this journal was Bano. Which Indian Armed Police Force took over the security of Leh Airport? So, recently, CISF, that is Central Industrial Security Force, took over the security at the strategic Leh Airport. That means previously, Local police was responsible for its security. Now, CISF will be responsible for this. Who is the chairperson of expert committee on debt resolution which has been constituted by RBI? So, this committee will be headed by Mr. K.V. Kaman. And this committee will recommend the debt resolution plans to RBI. Who was the chairperson of All India Handicraft Board which has been abolished recently? So, recently Government of India abolished all India Handicraft Board and it also abolished All India Handloom Board. So this All India Handicraft Board was headed by Minister of Textiles. Where is the headquarters of IBBI located? IBBI stands for Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. So it is in New Delhi. Recently it was in news because IBBI has amended the regulations related to liquidation process. Which organization signed Memorandum of Understanding with IIT Delhi to set up a center of excellence for using artificial intelligence in decision making. So for this recently NHAI signed this MOU with IIT Delhi. What is NHAI? It is National Highway Authority of India and it is under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Sirle N. Grau who passed away recently was associated with which field? So she was associated to literature. She passed away recently and she was Pulitzer Prize winner. Genoa Sen Giorgio Bridge, which was in news, is located in which country? So this bridge is in Italy and recently it was in news because it was inaugurated recently. What is the name of new interactive center on the Swachh Bharat mission located near Rajghat in Delhi? So the name of the center is Rashtriya Swachhta Kendra. So recently this was in news because of new inauguration and it is a part of SBM that is Swachh Bharat mission. Conclave on the transformational reforms in higher education was organized by Education Ministry along with which institution? So this was organized with the help of UGC that is University Grants Commission. Now Education Ministry that is Ministry of Education was also in news because of new education policy. How many applications were named the winners of Atam Nirbhar Bharat App Innovation Challenge? So this Atam Nirbhar Bharat App Innovation Challenge was launched to innovate new applications and it was launched on the innovate platform of MyGOV. So this Atam Nirbhar Bharat app innovation challenge was started by MEITY that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology in association with AIM that is Atal Innovation Mission. What is the corpus offered by the Reserve Bank of India to NABARD and NHB to boost rural lending and affordable housing? So it is 10,000 crores. RBI that is Reserve Bank of India has offered a credit facility of 10,000 crores to NABARD and NHB. 
which Indian organization released Business Confidence Index. So this was released by NCAER, that is National Council of Applied Economic Research, which Indian pharmaceutical industry has partnered with Gavi and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to produce 100 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine. So this is Serum Institute of India. Serum Institute of India is the world's largest vaccine manufacturer. Recently, it signed an agreement with AstraZeneca to supply the Oxford University's potential COVID-19 vaccine. Which country has issued order that would ban TikTok and WeChat in 45 days if they were not sold by their parent companies? So recently, USA was in news because of this event. The parent company of TikTok is ByteDance. Which country is set to host the 2021 International Cricket Council T20 World Cup? So, India is the host of this tournament. ICC stands for International Cricket Council. ICC also announced that Australia will conduct this year's T20 World Cup in 2022. What is the name of special campaign launched by the Prime Minister to free India of garbage? So, the name of this campaign is Gandhi Muk Bharat, that means Garbage Free India. So it is a week long campaign and it will be till 15th of August. And it was launched recently during an event in Delhi. Raja Malai, where a massive landslide has occurred is in which state of India. So it is in Kerala and it is in Idukki district of Kerala. Now Kerala was also in news because of Pokkali rice. Which country has declared an environmental emergency after the ship MV Wakashio spilled fuel. So recently Mauritius declared environmental emergency after the spilling of fuel by the ship named MV Wakashio. So it is a Japanese ship. The Prime Minister of India inaugurated a submarine optical fiber cable to provide telecom services to which Union territory. So this is Union territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So this submarine optical fiber cable will connect Chennai with Port Blair. Which financial institution released the Consumer Confidence Survey? So this survey is released by RBI, that is our central bank. Consumer Confidence Survey is a survey that is conducted every two months. So the CCI is conducted every two months and it is conducted to measure how optimistic or pessimistic the consumers are regarding the financial situation. On which day the International Day of World's Indigenous People or World Tribal Day is celebrated. So it is celebrated on 9th of August. On 10th of August, World Biofuel Day is celebrated. A new railway museum has been inaugurated at which city of Karnataka? So this is in Hubali. Recently, Railway Minister Mr. Pius Goel and Coal and Mines Minister Mr. Prahlad Joshi inaugurated this new railway museum and this is in Karnataka. Who won the Asian College of Journalism's award for investigative journalism? So recently, Nitin Sethi won this award for investigative journalism. So his investigative journalism articles includes articles on electoral bonds. In addition to him, K.P. Narayana Kumar Memorial Award for Social Impact Journalism was given to Shiv Sahai Singh. Which is the first Indian city to have a female symbols on traffic signals? So this city is going to be Mumbai and recently BMC that is Brahan Mumbai Municipal Corporation has installed traffic signals that display the female icons. The Eat Right India movement that has won the Food System Vision Prize is being implemented by which organization? So this is related to FSSI that is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. So recently FSSAI was awarded the Food System Vision Prize for its Eat Right India movement. Which trade association organized the National Public Procurement Conclave along with Government e-Marketplace? So recently CII that is Confederation of Indian Industry organized this National Public Procurement Conclave. So this was organized by CII in collaboration with Government e-Marketplace. Which Indian organization is celebrating Cleanliness Week from 10th of August to mark the Independence Day? So this organization is Indian Railways. Recently Indian Railways was also in news because of OHE Inspection App. What is OHE? It is 
overhead equipment railway was also in use because of Kisan Rail. So recently, Kisan Rail started its operations from Maharashtra to Bihar, which e-commerce platform launched a startup promotion and mentoring program called Leap. So this is an initiative by Flipkart, and it is a platform for the startup promotion. Mathiran Hill Station, where around 77 new species of butterflies have been found, is located in which Indian state? So it is in Maharashtra. And according to Bombay Natural History Society, approximately 77 new species of butterflies have been found in the ecologically sensitive forest of Mathiran Hill Station. The Indian Railways is to transport denim and dyes to which neighboring country? So this country is Bangladesh. And the Western Railway Zone of Indian Railways is set to run a parcel train from Ahmedabad Division in Gujarat to Bangladesh. Which initiative launched under the Ayushman Bharat program has provided over 1 lakh consultations. So the name of this initiative is e Sanjeevani. So it is a telemedicine platform and it has provided over 1 lakh consultations. As per a recent study, pathogens named as critical by the WHO is found in which river? So WHO stands for World Health Organization and these pathogens were found in Yamuna River. The COVAX facility which was seen in news recently is an initiative of which international organization? So it is related to WHO. And the objective of this initiative is to fast track the development of vaccine against coronavirus. Who has been selected as the new chairperson of SAIL? That is Steel Authority of India. So Soma Mondal has been selected as the new chairperson and she is going to be the first woman to head the organization. The current chairperson is Anil Chaudhary. India signed contract with which country for the development of five ecotourism zones in Addu city? So this country is Maldives. The capital of Maldives is Malay and India is going to collaborate with Maldives for the development of ecotourism zones in Addu city. Who was the chairperson of ICRIER for 15 years and has stepped down recently? So the chairperson was Isar Aluwalia and now she has stepped down. A new chairperson is Pramod Basin. What is ICRIER? It is a think tank which was established in 1981. Mani Tombi Singh who passed away recently is associated to with sports. So he is associated to football and he passed away recently in his native village in Manipur. Which organization has launched a loyalty platform named Anth Rewards? So it is NPCI that is National Payments Corporation of India and it has launched this platform and as per this platform users can earn points through various bank transactions. Which food aggregator platform has launched a delivery service named Instamart. So this has been launched by Swiggy and this service has been launched in Gurugram in Haryana and as per this service Swiggy will deliver essential items and groceries within 45 minutes. IC Impacts is an annual research conference between India and which country? So it stands for Canada. That means IC Impacts is an annual research conference between India and Canada. Which known Profit organization has tied up with Nokri.com for connecting healthcare professionals with hospitals. So recently Eco India has tied up with Nokri.com for connecting the healthcare professionals with hospitals. Who host the at home reception for the freedom fighters as a part of anniversary of Quit India movement? So usually president host at home reception at the Rashtrapati Bhavan to honor the freedom fighters. But this year, states and union territories were requested to honor these freedom fighters at their homes on the behalf of president because of coronavirus issue. The book titled Connecting, Communicating, Changing is based on the third year of office of which Indian leader? So it is based on the work of our Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu. It is important to note that Vice President is the ex-officio chairperson of Rajya Sabha. What is the meaning of ex officio that means whosoever is going to be the vice president he or she will be the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Hassan Diab who resigned recently was the prime minister of which country? So he was the prime minister of Lebanon and after the catastrophic explosion in 
Beirut, the capital city of Lebanon, the Prime Minister and his entire cabinet resigned. So, the capital of Lebanon is Beirut and the currency of Lebanon is Lebanese pound. And which country is to offer military airwaves for 5G wireless networks? So, this country is USA. So, this will offer military airwaves for 5G wireless network and therefore, this will push USA ahead of China in deploying 5G wireless technology. Which state government has launched Mukhya Mantri Kisan Sahai Yojana replacing PM Fasal Bima Yojana? So this state is Gujarat. So this is a crop insurance scheme which has been launched by the state government of Gujarat and it will replace the central government scheme PM Fasal Bima Yojana. Which Indian state has launched a new scheme named Indra One Mitan Yojana? So this state is Chhattisgarh and the scheme was launched on the occasion of World Tribal Day. So, the scheme aims to make the forest dwellers self-reliant. Now, Chhattisgarh was also in news as recently it launched Godhan Nyaya Yojana. It was also in news as recently former Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, Ajit Jogi, passed away. He was the first Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. The SBM Academy has been inaugurated in which city? So, this has been inaugurated in New Delhi and it has been inaugurated by Union Jal Sakti Minister Gajender Singh Sekhawat and this Swachh Bharat Mission Academy is a part of Gandagi Mukta Bharat campaign. So the Swachh Bharat Mission Academy is an IVR based free mobile online learning course on ODF+. The Supreme Court ruled on the equal heirship rights of the daughters referring to which act. So this act is Hindu Succession Act of 2005 and recently it was in news because of the Supreme Court verdict and as per the recent verdict daughters cannot be deprived of their right to equality and they will have equal rights in the property. Which e-commerce platform has launched a seller driven campaign named Itna Asan Hai that means it is so easy. So this campaign has been started by Amazon and it is a campaign to spread awareness that it is so easy and it is a simple processor to enroll on digital platform of Amazon as seller. Which Indian organization has entered the list of world's top 100 companies on the Fortune Global 500 list? So this company is Reliance Industries and it is the highest ever ranking of any Indian company on Fortune list. It is on 96th position. The ranking was recently released by Fortune. Which union ministry launched minimum standards of architectural education regulations? So this was recently launched by MOE that is Ministry of Education. Previously it was MHRD that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Now it has been renamed as MOE that is Ministry of Education. Which country has provided artificial intelligence based technology and advanced equipments to AIMS India? So this country is Israel. Recently. Israel was also in news because of OFAC 16. Israel was also in news because of Operation Breathing Space. Which country has partnered with global drug maker Moderna for 100 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine? So recently USA has partnered with Moderna for these vaccines and recently Russia claimed that they have developed vaccine. The webinar titled Cellular Jail Letters, Memos and Memories has been organized by which ministry? So this has been organized by MOT that is Ministry of Tourism and it is a part of Dekho Apna Des initiative. The cellular jail is in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. On which day International Youth Day is observed every year? So it is on 12th of August and the theme of this year was Youth Engagement for Global Action. Now, International Youth Day is on 12th of August, while National Youth Day is on 12th of January. The Medal for Excellence in Investigation that is awarded to the police personnel is constituted by which Union Ministry? So, this is an initiative of Ministry of Home Affairs. Present Home Minister is Amit Shah. Present Home Secretary is Ajay Kumar Bhalla. The Defence Ministry has proposed to procure 106 basic trainer aircrafts for Indian Air Force from which aircraft manufacturer? So it is HAL that is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and recently it was approved by 
MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. Which metro rail network has set up India's deepest underground ventilation shaft? So it is Kolkata Metro. It is important to note that India's first underwater metro project is in Kolkata and it will be completed by 2022. Now Kolkata is in West Bengal and recently West Bengal was in use as it launched self scan app to scan the documents. What is series that was referred to in a recent study by NASA. So it is dwarf planet. Now recently it was in use because according to recent reports by Dawn spacecraft this dwarf planet series is not a barren space rock that means water is available on this dwarf planet the name of the dwarf planet is series next question is what is the name of congress leader and national spokesperson who passed away recently so his name is rajiv tyagi and he passed away recently due to cardiac arrest in addition to him recently malayalam poet and lyricist chunakra ramakutti also passed away so he was the malayalam poet and lyricist malayalam is the official language of state of kerala and it is one of the classical language next question is which organization conducted a survey titled youth and covid 19 impact on jobs education rights and mental well-being so this was conducted by ilo that is international labor organization so as for this survey almost half of the world's youth population is undergoing stress because of this COVID-19 pandemic situation. Next question is, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has permitted registration of which type of vehicle without pre-fitted batteries? So it is electric vehicles. That means now electric vehicles can be sold without pre-fitted batteries. Next question is, a webinar titled Views of Maharashtra and Textiles of Odisha was organized by which organization along with India Tourism? So this was organized by PIB in association with India Tourism. And this was organized to focus on the handlooms and fabrics of Maharashtra and Odisha. Next question is, who is the chairperson for the National Expert Group on Vaccine Administration for COVID-19? So Niti Aayog member Dr. VK Paul is the chairperson. And recently it was in news because this group met for the first time recently. Meeting was co-chaired by Secretary of Ministry of Health and family welfare. Next question is, which union ministry released report of the committee on business responsibility reporting? So this is related to MCA, that is Ministry of Corporate Affairs. And the report proposed, that means this report proposed a new reporting framework. And this framework is called BRSR. What is BRSR? It is Business Responsibility and Sustainability Report. Next question is, which state or union territory government has entered into a MOU with IIT Bombay and Tata projects for construction of smoke tower. So this is Delhi. So Delhi has signed MOU with IIT Bombay and Tata projects for smoke tower at North Place, that is CP. Next is, which Indian transport organization has proposed to upgrade its automatic fare collection system? So this is Delhi Metro. That means now the travelers will be able to pay using debit card and credit card and they will not need to recharge their metro smart cards. Next question is, the Reserve Bank of India has directed to implement system-based asset classification to which type of financial institutions? So this is announced for UCB, that is Urban Cooperative Banks. Next is, the Katra Delhi Express Road Corridor, which was in news recently, connects the national capital to which state or union territory? So it connects Delhi to Jammu and Kashmir as this Katra is in Jammu and Kashmir. Which is the first Gulf Arab country to establish diplomatic relationship with Israel? So it is UAE as UAE and Israel have agreed to establish diplomatic ties and therefore UAE is going to be the first Persian Gulf country to do so. Who has the longest tenure as head of elected government among all the Indian Prime Ministers. So the question is about tenure as head of elected government. It is not about central government only. Right answer is our present Prime Minister. So among all the Prime Ministers, he has the longest tenure as head of elected government, including his term of more than 12 years as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. So his total term is now 18 
years and 300 days. Which country is to partner with Russia in the production and marketing of coronavirus vaccine? So this country is Brazil. So both countries are going to collaborate and RIDF has entered into an agreement with Brazil. What is RIDF? It is Russian Direct Investment Fund. Microsoft Research Lab has developed a machine translation tool for which tribal language? So this has been developed for Gondi tribal language. And the name of the tool is INMT, that is Interactive Neural Machine Translation. What is N1 Stop LAMP? That was in news recently. So it is a COVID-19 test. And this test can detect the presence of SARS CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. Which institution has partnered with Coursera to offer certificate programs in artificial intelligence and machine learning and in data science? So it is IIT Roorkee and this program is proposed to be launched in 2021. What is the name of DRDO certified device for disinfection of surfaces launched by Union Minister Nitin Gadkari? So the name is Atulya. It has been developed by DRDO that is Defense Research and Development Organization. Now it is a disinfection device and it will clean the surfaces and make them virus free. Gangadhar Mehar lift canal system is an irrigation project of which state or union territory. So it is a project of Odisha and recently it was in news because the cabinet of Odisha approved this project. As per the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, all the ongoing Renewable energy projects are given time extension by how many months? So it is five months. This time extension was given because of this pandemic situation and the implementing agencies have been directed to treat this COVID-19 as force majeure. What documentary films were screened by the films division to mark the celebration of Independence Day? So right answer is India wins freedom and India independent. In addition to these two films, online patriotic film festival was organized by the Ministry of INB that is information and broadcasting. What is the quantum of annual dividend payout approved by RBI to the government of India? So it is 57,000 crores. It is important to note that as per this year's budget, government had estimated a dividend of 60,000 crores. So government had estimated this this much dividend from central bank that means RBI and from other government owned financial institutions. The Center for Biopharma Analysis that is CBA is set up in which city? So it is going to be set up in Pune and recently it was inaugurated by the Secretary of DBT that is Department of Biotechnology. The documentary film named The Next Frontier India's Smart Cities was premiered by which agency? So it was premiered by National Geographic and this The Next Frontier is a documentary on four Indian cities. These four cities are Surat, Vishakhapatnam, Pune and Varanasi. India has announced 500 million US dollars assistance to which country for its largest civilian infrastructure project? So this country is Maldives. Capital of Maldives is Mali. Which state is the host of annual International Film Festival of India? So it is Goa. Recently it was in news as Chief Minister of Goa confirmed that the film festival will be organized as per the schedule and it will be organized in November. Which smartphone maker is set to distribute over 2500 smartphones to Indian children to promote online education? So it is an initiative of Xiaomi. It is a Chinese smartphone company and it is going to distribute these smartphones through its Indian arm MI India. Sumner Redstone who passed away recently is associated with which field? So he was associated to business and he was American business person. His autobiography was a passion to win and he passed away recently. What is the name of platform launched by the Prime Minister as a part of taxation reform? So the name of the platform is Transparent Taxation Honoring the Honest. 
TESS is a satellite of which country's space organization? So it is a satellite of NASA. NASA is a space agency of USC. What is TESS? It is Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Which country is set to be the official sponsor of Indian team for Tokyo Olympics? So it is going to be Inox Group. Now Tokyo is in Japan. Recently Japan was in news as UAE launched its Hope Probe from Japan. It is a UAE mission on Mars. Which pharma company has launched country's cheapest version of Remdesivir as Remdac? So it is Jaidas Kedla and it is a Gujarat based company. As per the recent report, which Indian city has been ranked second cheapest city to rent in the world? So it is Delhi and this is a report by Purely Diamonds. The largest city of Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh, is the cheapest city to rent in the world. An Ayurveda based biodegradable face mask named Pavitra Patti is developed by which organization? So it has been developed by DIAT, that is Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. Steel Ministry is to conduct a webinar fostering steel uses in housing and building construction and aviation sectors. So this event will be organized with which organization? So it is CII, that is Confederation of Indian Industry. Now it will be conducted with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs along with Ministry of Civil Aviation. PMRU, which was in news recently, is under which agency? So a new price monitoring and research unit has been set up in the state of Karnataka under NPPA, that is National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority. And the main function of PMRU is to assist NPPA in monitoring the price of drugs. What is the name of performance dashboard of Ministry of Tribal Affairs which was launched recently? So the name of this platform is Empowering Tribals Transforming India Dashboard and it is an initiative of MOTA that is Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Which actor has topped the Forbes list of top 10 highly paid male actors of the world? So it is topped by Dwayne Johnson or The Rock. And from Bollywood, Akshay Kumar is on 6th position in this list. Which is the first neighboring country with which India has made the air bubble agreement? So this country is Maldives. The capital of Maldives is Malay. Now air bubble means the travel within this bubble will be allowed. Which technology company has introduced a new educational product called Assignments? So it is an initiative of Google and it is an application designed for the educators to distribute and to award grades to the students work. Who has been posthumously awarded the Kirti Chakra award by the President of India? Right answer is Head Constable Abdul Rashid Kalas. Recently President Kovin approved 84 gallantry awards for the defense personnel and Head Constable of Jammu and Kashmir Police Abdul Rashid Kalas was awarded the Kirti Chakra. Who has been awarded the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister's Special Award for Contribution in Fight Against COVID-19? So the Chief Scientist of WHO, Dr. Somya Swaminathan was selected for Tamil Nadu Chief Minister's Special Award for her role in fight against COVID-19. Who is the only cricket captain in the world who led his team to win all three ICC trophies? So he is one and only Mahinder Singh Dhoni and recently he announced his retirement. Apart from him, recently, Suresh Raina also announced his retirement. What is ICC? It is International Cricket Council. The headquarters of ICC is in Dubai. Dubai is in UAE. In fact, UAE is going to be the host of this year's IPL tournament. Union Defense Minister approved to expand which youth service wing to cover the border and coastal districts. So it is NCC that is National Cadet Corps. So this NCC is under the purview of MOD that is Ministry of Defense and it enrolls the cadets at high school and at college level and then it award certificates on the completion of various phases. This initiative was announced by the Prime Minister on the Independence Day. Rehanth project 
which was in use for its infrastructure to transport fly ash is located in which state of India. So it is in Uttar Pradesh and NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation has built this infrastructure at Rehan project in Uttar Pradesh and this has been designed to transport the fly ash at affordable rates to the cement plants. Atal Innovation Mission has partnered with which organization to launch an artificial intelligence based module for school students. So this was launched in association with NASCOM and it is Atal AI Step Up module. This Atal Innovation Mission is an initiative of Niti IO. Which state or union territory has unveiled its new state logo with flash flower? So it is Jharkhand. The Chief Minister of Jharkhand is Mr. Hemant Soren. Now recently Jharkhand was also in news because of Vishnu Sendra Parv and for the first time in the history not even a single animal was killed during this festival. Researchers of which two organizations have developed a process of making bricks on lunar surface. So we have already covered this in our news section and it is ISRO and IASC and they have named these bricks as space bricks. Lunar means moon. So the raw material used for this is urea and lunar soil. What is the name of crater that has been captured by ISRO's Chandrayaan 2 orbiter? So the name of this crater is Sarabhai crater and it is related to moon. So please note this point that the Sarabhai crater is related to moon and recently Chandrayaan 2 orbiter captured its images. The Concourse Missile Test Equipment launched by the Defense Minister has been developed by which organization? So it has been developed by BDL that is Bharat Dynamics Limited. Now it is a part of Atam Nirbhar Bharat initiative. Previously we used to import these products from Russia but now we are trying to develop these products within our country. NSE that is National Stock Exchange has developed a platform for investor education along with which institution? So it is I am Bangalore and this is PIE that is platform for investor education and for this NSE and I am Bangalore has collaborated. So this platform will reflect the current developments in the financial markets. The famous computer scientist Russell Kirsch who died recently is associated with which invention? So he was associated with pixels. He was from America and he passed away recently. He created the world's first photograph that was scanned into computer. The Atal Tunnel that was seen in news recently is located in which state of India? So this tunnel is located in Himachal Pradesh and this tunnel is under Rohtang Pass. Now recently this tunnel was in news as Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Jairam Thakur announced that this tunnel will be inaugurated by Prime Minister in September. Now this tunnel was renamed after Atal Bihari Vajpayee on Good Governance Day. Gangotri National Park which was seen in news recently is located in which state of India? So it is in Uttarakhand. Recently this park was in news because of woolly flying squirrel. Now as per IUCN list this is in red list and therefore this national park in Uttarakhand was in news. Now what is IUCN? It is International Union for Conservation of Nature. Kampa fund that was seen in news recently is associated with which union ministry? So it is related to Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Now recently Environment Minister Mr. Prakash Javadekar directed that 80% of this Kampa fund have to be used for plantation and afforestation. Now first thing first what exactly is this Kampa? It stands for Compensatory Afforestation Fund Management and Planning Authority. So in simplest term it is the compensation that is to be paid for diverting forest land for non-forest project. That means you are cutting forest and therefore you are paying this compensation money so that forest in some other areas can be planted. That means trees in some other areas can be planted in a compensation to this forest. Which organization is to conduct the World Solar Technology Summit? Right answer is ISC that is International Solar Alliance. So the summit will be organized virtually in September. 
Now, what is ISA? It is International Solar Alliance. The headquarters of ISA is in Haryana in Gurugram. The formal name of ISA is IASPA that is International Agency for Solar Policy and Application. Which institution has topped the ARIIA 2020 in the centrally funded institution category? So it is IIT Madras. IIT Madras is on top in terms of centrally funded institutions category of ARIIA and this ARIIA stands for Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievement and this is an initiative of MHRD that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. The government of which country has launched an innovation challenge fund in India? So it has been launched by UK and this will be used to support the scientists to fight challenges like COVID-19 and other environmental threats. Now if we talk about UK, India is the second largest investor in UK. USA is the largest investor in UK. UK was also in news because of global vaccine summit and during this summit India announced 15 million dollars for Gavi. Gavi stands for Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization. Which racing driver has won the Spanish Grand Prix Formula 1 tournament? So Lewis Hamilton won it. Capital of Spain is Madrid. Recently Spain was in news because of COP25. What is COP? It is Conference of Parties. It is a part of UNFCCC that is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So this 25th Conference of Parties held in Spain. It was supposed to be held in Chile but due to protest this was organized in Spain in Madrid under the presidency of Chile government. The world's tallest pier bridge is being constructed by Indian Railways in which state of India. So it is in Manipur and it is constructed by Indian Railways across river Isai. So it is going to be the tallest pier bridge in the world and it is of 141 meter. Now this bridge is a part of Jiribam Tupul Imphal railway line. A quality control laboratory for seafood testing has been set up by MPEDA in which state of India. So it was set up in Gujarat in Porbandar and it is a quality control laboratory for seafood testing and it has been set up by MPEDA. Which is the new industrial corridor proposed to be set up by the government of Karnataka. So it is Mysuru Bidar Industrial Corridor. This was recently proposed and this will be built by the state to promote the development of industry and commerce. For the 2019-20 which seafood was the largest product to be exported from India? So it is shrimp. So frozen shrimp was the major export product among the seafood and it was followed by frozen fish. Now it is important to note that MPEDA has a target to increase the export of seafoods to 1 trillion by 2030. What is MPEDA? It is Marine Products Export Development Authority and it is under Ministry of Commerce and it is a nodal agency for the holistic development of the seafood industry in our country. Which organization has built a 180 feet bridge in Pithoragad district of Uttarakhand. So it is BRO that is Border Roads Organization and the name of the bridge is Bailey Bridge. Now BRO is under MOD that is Ministry of Defense and the present Director General of BRO is Lieutenant General Harpal Singh. Which institution is to set up a new umbrella entity for retail payments? So it is RBI. So now two things are clear. First, RBI is the regulatory body for retail payments and RBI is going to set up new umbrella entity for this purpose. And this entity will have minimum paid up capital of 500 crore rupees and it will be set up and operate the payment systems such as ATMs, white label POS that is point of sale and Aadhaar based payment systems. Which state announced to reserve all government jobs to the people belonging to that state. So it is Madhya Pradesh. The Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh is Sivraj Singh Chauhan. So he announced that all the state government jobs will be reserved for the people belonging to the state of Madhya Pradesh. And if this will be implemented, this is going to be the first such state. Which organization released National Cancer Registry Program 
Report 2020. So this was released by ICMR, that is Indian Council of Medical Research. And ICMR has released this report in association with NCDIR. What is NCDIR? It is National Center for Disease Informatics and Research. So this National Cancer Registry Program is an initiative of ICMR and it is overseen by National Center for Disease, Informatics and Research and this is in Bengaluru. PBOC has acquired a stake in which Indian private sector bank? So it is ICICI Bank. What is PBOC? It is People's Bank of China. Previously it had acquired stakes in HDFC. Now ICICI Bank was also in use as recently Swiggy, the food aggregating platform partnered with ICICI Bank for digital wallet. Apart from that, ICICI Housing Finance launched Saral Scheme for affordable housing loans. Each organization is deploying Ninja UAV for surveillance purpose. So this is RPF, that is Railway Protection Force. This RPF is part of Ministry of Railways. That means it is under Ministry of Railways. And these Ninja UAV will be used for monitoring and surveillance purpose. Now, the Director General of RPF is Arun Kumar, which is the second Indian Jew to have African hunting cheetahs. So, Mysuru Jew is going to be the second one. First is Hyderabad Jew. And this was done under Animal Exchange Program. Ibrahim Boubakar Keita, who has resigned recently, was the president of which country? Right answer is Mali. So, the political situation in Mali is deteriorating and after the military rebellion, the president of Mali has stepped down. Next question is, what is the expansion of NRA that has been approved by the cabinet for conducting common entrance examinations? So this NRA stands for National Recruitment Agency and this NRA was recently approved by the cabinet and it is going to conduct CET that is Common Entrance Test. So this CET will be conducted for various non-gazetted vacancies and then the mains examination will be conducted by the different specialized agencies. So prelims will be through the CET. Which state or union territory has recently given approval for the construction of skyscrapers with 70 or more floors? So this was decided by Gujarat government that high-rise buildings of 70 floors or more were allowed in five major cities. And these five cities are Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Surat, Rajkot and Gandhinagar. Death Valley, which was in news recently, is in which country? So it is in USA. Recently, it was in news because it recorded the highest temperature and it recorded the temperature of 54.4 degree Celsius. And that's why it was in news. So this is highest since 1913. In 1913, it was 56.7 degrees Celsius. Next question is, which organization along with ILO released the report tackling the COVID-19 youth employment crisis in Asia and the Pacific? So it is ADB, that is Asian Development Bank. So both these organizations released this report. And as per that report, approximately 41 lakh people in our country lost their jobs because of COVID-19 pandemic. What is the name of challenge that is launched by India to promote indigenous microprocessor manufacturing? So the name of this challenge is Swadeshi Microprocessor Challenge. And as for this challenge, 100 shortlisted companies will be given grant to build their prototype and the 25 finalists will win 1 crore rupee each. And these companies will get support from MEITY, that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Present Minister is Mr. Ravi Shankar Prashad. His constituency is Patna Sahib. Next question is, Stellite Copper, which is in news recently, is associated with which state? So it is related to Tamil Nadu and this was in news because the High Court of Madras has rejected the reopening of this Stellite Copper smelting plant. And this plant is in Tutikorin and it is in Tamil Nadu. Next question is, which Indian cricketer has been recommended for the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award? So, Right answer is Rohit Sharma. Now, few other events related to cricket recently. Mahendra Singh Dhoni and Suresh Raina announced their retirement. IPL is going to be in UAE. Dream 11 is going to be the sponsor partner for BCCI. 
for this IPL 2020. Which city has won the cleanest city award in the Swachh Sarvekshan 2020 survey? So this city is Indore and it is in Madhya Pradesh. So it is on top position while Maharashtra's Navi Mumbai is on third position and Surat in Gujarat is on second position. Next question is what is the allocation made for the emergency line credit guarantee scheme? It is rupee 3 lakh crore and it will be allocated from that economic stimulus package which was announced. So that stimulus package was of worth 20 lakh crores and out of that this 3 lakh crore package is announced for emergency credit line guarantee scheme. Next question is which country has displayed its locally made ballistic missile martyr Qasem Soleimani. So this is by Iran. The capital of Iran is Tehran. Iran was also in news because of JCPOA. Iran was also in news because of Instex and Iran was also in news because of Chahabar port. Answer in comment books Gwadar port is associated to which country? So this new missile is named after head of Iran's Quad's forces and he was Qasem Soleimani. He was killed in the US strike. Next question is which zone of Indian Railways has conducted a trial run of roll on roll off service? So it is Southern Railways. Now first thing first what is the meaning of this roll on roll off service? It means this railway will carry the wheeled cargo. What is the meaning of wheeled cargo? For example you can see these trucks. So once they will be shipped to destination then they will get back on their wheels. The opposite of this roll on roll off is left on left off. That means you will just use the crane to load that item and then you will use crane to unload that item. But in this case you are going to use the wheels to roll on and then while unloading you will use the wheels again to roll off. Next question is which organization launched national strategy for financial education. So this was launched by RBI that is Reserve Bank of India and it has been launched for five years that is from 2022 to 2025. So the objective is to encourage the formal banking and to ensure the safe digital financial services. Now RBI was also in news as recently it signed agreement with Sri Lanka for a 400 million dollars currency swap. Next question is who is the author of book Grandparents Bag of Stories. So Sudhamurti is the author of this book Grandparents Bag of Stories. It will be released in the month of November. So it is a sequel of her existing book and it will be released by the Penguin House. Next question is which organization released a report titled Population Projections for India and States 2011 to 2036? Right answer is National Commission on Population. So this commission is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and as per this report the total population of India is expected to increase from 121.1 crores to 151.8 crores. So this is going to be our population in 2036. Next question is who represented India in the 2020 roundtable of ASEAN India network of think tanks. So India was represented by our Minister of External Affairs Mr. S. Jayashankar. What is ASEAN? It is Association of Southeast Asian Nations. So it is a grouping of 10 countries. Next question is which state launched a subsidized meal scheme named Indra Rasoi Yojana. So this was by Rajasthan government and it was released on Sad Bhavana Divas. So it is a birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi and it was on 20th of August. 20th of August was also celebrated as Indian Akshay Urja Day. So this day is celebrated to mark the importance of renewable energy resources in our country. Next question is as per recent survey by NCERT what percentage of students cannot access smartphones or laptops to attend online classes. So it is 27 percentage. So the survey was conducted by NCERT that is National Council of Educational Research and Training. Now as per the survey 27 percent of the students do not have access to smartphones or laptops to attend the online classes. The irony is that those who want to study do not have adequate resources and most of them who have adequate resources do not want to study. The survey also pointed out that the lack of electricity is another major obstacle in online learning and approximately 28 percent students and parents noted this point. Next question is the rights to run airports at Jaipur, Guwahati and Tiruvananthapuram 
have been awarded to which business major of India? So it has been awarded to Adani Enterprises. It is important to note that previously these airports were under AAI that is Airport Authority of India. Next question is by what amount the FRP that is fair and remunerative prices of sugarcane has been increased. So it is 10 rupee per quintal and recently CCEA approved the increase in FRP by 10 rupees per quintal. So previous price was 275 rupee per quintal. Next question is the supply chain resilience initiative that is SCRI is related to which three countries. So it is related to India, Japan and Australia and to reduce the dependency on China these three countries started this trilateral forum SCRI. Next question is which state has decided to exempt all serving and retired soldiers from the Gram Panchayat property tax. So this decision was taken by Maharashtra government. Now the government was also in news as recently it launched Maha portal. So it is a job portal. It was also in news as recently it launched Maha Parwana initiative to attract the investment in state. Maharashtra was also in news as the first women state election commissioner of Maharashtra. Neela Satyanarayanan passed away. So she was the first women state election commissioner of Maharashtra. Next question is which Indian parliamentarian has attended the inaugural ceremony of the fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament. So it is Om Birla. The Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla has attended the inaugural ceremony of Fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament. Which space mission of India has completed one full year in the lunar orbit? So it is Chandrayaan 2. And Chandrayaan 2 is India's first mission to make a soft landing on the south pole of the moon. And it is India's second moon mission. Recently, it was in use because it completed one full year in the lunar orbit. Lunar stands for moon. So this is an initiative of ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization. India is set to launch a direct ferry service to which neighboring country? So this country is Maldives. The capital of Maldives is Male. Recently, it was also in use as India announced a package of $500 million for Maldives. Which Indian power company is to establish a wholly owned subsidiary for its renewable energy business? So this is NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation. So recently it got approval from Niti Aayog and from Deepam for this project. Now what is Deepam? It is Department of Investment and Public Asset Management and it is under Finance Ministry. Indian e-commerce company Flipkart is to expand its business to which country? So it is Nepal. So Flipkart has signed a strategic partnership with Sastodeal.com. So it is the leading e-commerce company of Nepal and now they both are going to work together. Now Nepal was also in news because of its new boundary map. The capital of Nepal is Kathmandu. Sri Salem hydroelectric power plant that witnessed a massive fire outbreak is located in which state? So it is in Telangana and recently it was in news because of this fire incident. Now recently Telangana was in news as Telangana police launched Saibhar campaign. What is the position of India in requesting Twitter to remove the content during the second half of 2019? So India is on fifth position in terms of request to Twitter to remove the content during the second half. It is important to note that Japan, Russia and Turkey are on top three position. Now what is Twitter? It is a social networking site. Recently Twitter was in news as it partnered with RBI to promote the digital modes of payment. Who is the chief executive officer of NPCI International Payments Limited? Right answer is Ritesh Shukla. So NPCI has launched its new subsidiary. It is NPCI International Payments Limited and Ritesh Shukla is the new CEO of this subsidiary. Which country has recently proposed to draft its new constitution and to remove the restriction on presidential powers? So this country is our neighbor Sri Lanka. And because of this, the 19th constitutional amendment was also in news. It was passed in 2015 and this imposed restrictions on the presidential powers. The present president of Sri Lanka is Gotabaya Rajapaksha. Atal Bhimit Vakti Kalyan Yojana is associated with which organization? So it is related to ESIC that is Employees and State Insurance Corporation. 
Now why this scheme was in news recently? Because under the Atal Bhimit Rakti Kalyan Yojana, ESIC has relaxed its norms and it is going to pay 50% of average wages of 3 months as unemployment benefit. Which state is set to become the first to recruit through National Recruitment Agency's common test? So Madhya Pradesh is going to be the first state to do so. Now, this NRA and CET is important from exam perspective, so please read about it. Now, Madhya Pradesh was also in news because of Roko Toko campaign. It was also in news because of Charan Paduka campaign. It was also in news because of Intazar Aapka campaign. India has signed a cultural agreement with which country? So it is Israel. Now, recently Israel was in news as state of Uttar Pradesh launched an agreement with Israel for collaboration to end the water crisis in Bundelkhand region of Uttar Pradesh. What is the new name of Religare Health Insurance Company Limited? So the new name is Care Health Insurance Limited and the change became effective from 19th of August. Now the headquarters of this company is in Gurugram in Haryana. Bhaskar Mehti who passed away recently is associated to with sports. So he was associated to football. He passed away recently. He was Indian footballer turned coach. On which date the International Day of Remembrance and Tribute to the Victims of Terrorism is observed. So it is on 21st of August. Now this is a day to pay the tribute to the victims of terrorism. On the other hand, in our country, National Anti-Terrorism Day is on 21st of May. It is the death anniversary of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Recently, his birth anniversary was celebrated and it was on 20th of August and it was celebrated as Sadbhavana Divas. Manika Batra, who was conferred with the Khel Ratna Award, is associated with which sport? So, C is associated to table tennis. Recently, Rohit Sharma, Rani Rampal, Mariyapan Thangvelu, Vinesh Fogart and Manika Batra were selected for prestigious Khel Ratan Award. Jojila Tunnel, which was in news recently, connects Jammu and Kashmir with which state or union territory? So, this is the Asia's longest bi-directional tunnel and it is related to Ladakh. So, it is going to provide the all year connectivity between Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh region. Which country recorded an outbreak of West Nile virus that causes West Nile fever? So this country is Spain and recently Spain was in news because of this outbreak of West Nile virus which is spread by mosquitoes. Now Spain was also in news because of COP25. Which firm built the interceptor boat ICGS? C-454 that was launched recently into the services of Coast Guard. So it has been built by LNT that is Larsen and Kubro and recently it was launched in Surat. Surat is in Gujarat and it has been launched for Indian Coast Guard. Now recently Surat was in news because of Swatch Sarvekshan 2020. This was released by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and as per the survey Indore in Madhya Pradesh is on top position in overall category and Surat in Gujarat is on second position. Which ministry partnered with tribal ministry to promote opportunities among the tribal women SHG. SHG stands for self-help group. So this ministry is Ministry of Rural Development. So both these ministries partnered to promote the opportunities among tribal women self-help groups. ICICI Lombard General Insurance is set to acquire which insurance company? So it will acquire Bharti AXA General Insurance and this is going to be a share swap deal. Please read about this term. What is share swap deal? So after this acquisition, it is going to be the third largest general insurance entity of our country. Which country has signed peace agreement with its armed ethnic groups for ceasefire? So it is Myanmar. Myanmar government has signed agreement for NCA. What is NCA? That is National Ceasefire Agreement with 10 ethnic armed groups. And this peace accord is called Union Peace Accord Third. Which bank has decided to sell two of its 
wholly owned subsidiaries to GPL Finance and Investment Limited. So it is Yes Bank. So Yes Bank has signed an agreement with GPL Finance and Investment Limited for the sale of Yes AMC, that is Asset Management Company, and second is YTL. What is YTL? It is Yes Trustee Limited. So these two were sold to GPL Finance. Which organization is to have India's largest incubation ecosystem with 21 centers of excellence? So this organization is STPI, that is Solar Technology Parks of India. And it is under MEITY, that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So this STPI is set to have the largest ecosystem of incubation with 21 centers of excellence. Which is the most downloaded COVID-19 contact tracing application in the world as of now? So it is Aroge Setu application. Recently, this application was in use as it introduced open API service. So this application is by MEITY, that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Rules of origin that was seen in news recently is associated with which ministry? So it is related to MOF, that is Ministry of Finance. So recently DOR, that is Department of Revenue under Ministry of Finance, notified new rules related to rules of origin context. Notified new rules related to administration of rules of origin under trade agreement. Who is the head of newly formed National Council for Transgender Persons? So this is important as recently government constituted this council for transgenders and this council will be headed by Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment and this is going to be a 30 member council and in this council five states or union territories will be represented at a time and it will be done in rotation basis so five states and union territories will be represented this time next time different five states and union territories will be represented which Indian state announced that it would be the first to implement the national education policy 2020 so it is going to be Karnataka. Now it is important to note that Madhya Pradesh is going to be the first state to provide jobs on the basis of CET and Karnataka is the first one to implement national education policy. External Affairs Ministry organized the National Coordination Committee with which country for the first time. So this country is Uzbekistan and for the first time this India-Uzbekistan National Coordination Committee meeting was organized. Now it is important to note that from Indian side V. Murli Dharan, the Minister of State that is MOS for Ministry of External Affairs chaired this meeting. Which development bank is to finance the 500 million US dollars Mumbai Urban Transport Project? So this will be financed by AIIB that is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and this will be for Mumbai Urban Transport. Now the headquarters of AIIB is in Beijing. Beijing is in China. Train the trainer program that was seen in news recently is associated with which technology company? So it is associated to Microsoft and as per this program Microsoft is going to teach quantum computing skills to train the faculty approximately 900 faculty across the country. Which Indian educational institution has signed a memorandum of understanding with Switzerland based HELP Logistic? So it is IIM Cozy Code. It has signed this MOU with Switzerland to develop humanitarian logistic in India. Which institution in association with Siv Nadar University has developed a new technology to produce lithium sulfur batteries? So this organization is IIT Bombay and for this lithium sulfur batteries these two organizations, that means IIT Bombay and Siv Nadar University has collaborated. Which company has recently conferred the Global Water Award? So it is Watek Wabag. It has recently conferred the Global Water Award and the award was given to the company for setting up a treatment plant, that means water treatment plant in Chennai. Now because of this project, Chennai is the first Indian city to reuse more than 20% of the treated water. Pakistan has acquired an advanced warship named 054AP from which country? So this country is China. Now Pakistan was also in use because of Ajad Pattan Hydel power project. So this is in POK that is 
Pakistan occupied Kashmir so it is illegally that means this territory is illegally occupied by Pakistan and India has raised its objections against this project which football club has won the UEFA Champions League 2020 so this is Bayern Munich and it has won the UEFA Champions League it is a germany based football club recently germany was in news as it declared hasbullah as terrorist organization so this hasbullah is organization associated with lebanon as per the newly activated aadhar based gst registration what is the time taken for gst registration by an entity so if you are registering for gst through aadhar then it is going to take 3 days and if you are doing registration without aadhar then it is going to take 21 days on which day the prime minister's award for excellence in public administration are to be presented so the awards will be conferred on ekta divas that is unity day and it is on 31st of october which state has the highest number of women beneficiaries under mudra loan scheme as on the date so this state is tamil nadu Tamil Nadu is on the top position in terms of women beneficiaries under this Mudra initiative and it is followed by West Bengal and Karnataka now coming back to this Mudra loan scheme so this Pradhan Mantri Mudra scheme was launched in 2015 and the objective is to provide loans up to 10 lakh rupees to the non corporate non farm small micro enterprises so this is for non corporate and non agricultural that means non farm which organization distributes b boxes under honey mission scheme so the organization is kvic that is khadi and village industries commission and it is a statutory organization and it is under ministry of msme that is micro small and medium enterprises now if we talk about this honey mission so this mission was launched in 2017 and this mission is in lines with sweet revolution who has been nominated as the vice presidential candidate from republican party in usc so mike pence is the vice presidential candidate from republican so from republican trump is the presidential candidate mike pence is vice presidential candidate from democrats joe biden is presidential candidate and kamala harris is a vice presidential candidate which e-commerce company has committed for transition to electric vehicles and join ev100 initiative so this company is flipkart what is this ev100 initiative this initiative was started and as per this initiative companies committed towards the fast tracking transition of ev ev stands for electric vehicles so that electric transport can be made feasible now in this context recently india's first public electric vehicle charging plaza was launched in delhi delhi was also in news as recently it launched new electric vehicle policy what is the name of longest serving warship of indian navy that is to be dismantled so it is ins virat this is the longest serving warship of indian navy and it was earlier decommissioned now it will be dismantled at alang yard in gujarat which financial institution has introduced structured finance and partial guarantee program to nbfc and mfi mfi stands for microfinance institutions so this is nabard that is national bank for agriculture and rural development so idea is to ensure the unhindered flow of credit in rural areas which has been badly affected by covid-19 pandemic so this initiative provides partial credit guarantee on the loans extended to the small and mid sized microfinance institutions golf player shofia popo who was in news recently is from which country so she is from germany and she is a golf player recently she was in news because she became the first german woman to win a major tournament of golf she clinched aig british women's open COAS unit appreciation was conferred to the 51st special action group of which defense force so it is nsc that is national security guard there is one more nsc that is nuclear supplier group answer in comment box whether india is a member of that nuclear supplier group okay coming back to this nsc so it is under 
MHA, that is Ministry of Home Affairs. The RBI has proposed to conduct an open market operation for what amount? So it is 20,000 crores. What is the meaning of open market operation? It means RBI will buy and sell government securities. So suppose there is excess liquidity in the market, then RBI will sell the government securities and by selling those government securities, RBI will suck the excess liquidity. On the other hand, if liquidity condition is tight, that means there is not much liquidity, then RBI can buy these securities from market. Mashir fish, which has been spotted recently in Andhra Pradesh, was found in which river? So it was found in Silleru river and it is a rare fish and it is associated to Tor. That means its scientific name is Tor and it was spotted in the river Silleru in Andhra Pradesh. Usually it is found in the Himalayan region of rivers. India's longest river crossing ropeway, which was inaugurated recently, has been constructed across which river? So it has been constructed across Brahmaputra river and it is in Assam. Recently Assam was also in use as Poba Reserve Forest in Assam will be upgraded to wildlife sanctuary. Which organization has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with AFC India Limited to work together in agriculture and allied sectors? So it is APEDA that is Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority and it is under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. What is the name of new mental health rehabilitation helpline of Social Justice Ministry? So it is Kiran. It has been announced recently and it is new toll-free helpline for mental health rehabilitation. And this is an initiative by Union Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Now recently this ministry was also in news because of Transgender Council. So this is going to be a 30 member council and this council will be headed by Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment. And in this council, five states or union territories will be represented at one point of time. Next question is, what is the deadline given to the public sector undertakings to pay custom duty after they clear the imported goods? Right answer is 14 days. So CBIC, that is Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, recently announced that public sector undertakings are permitted to first clear the goods imported by them through customs and then they can pay the custom duty within 14 days. Next question is, Jammu and Kashmir has launched an e-auction portal to promote trade of Kashmir saffron along with which organization? So this organization is NSEIT Limited and this NSEIT is a subsidiary of NSE. What is NSE? It is National Stock Exchange. So the Agriculture Department of Jammu and Kashmir Union Territory started this e-auction portal with the help of NSE IT. Next question is the central government health scheme has initiated daily consultation services using which platform? So it is e-Sanjeevani platform. This is for daily consultation. What is the meaning of daily consultation? That means you are using internet technology to consult the doctor without visiting doctor physically. So daily consultation is a component of telemedicine. Next question is which general insurance company has launched the first retail insurance cover for pet dogs? So this was announced by Bajaj Alianj and it is Bajaj Alianj pet dog insurance policy. So this will provide complete coverage to all breeds of pet animals. It will also cover the treatment cost of specified disease. Next is Chadham Priyojana is project is a project related to which state of India. So it is related to Uttarakhand. Recently this project was in news because Supreme Court had constituted a committee and this committee was headed by Ravi Chopra. Next question is what would be the growth rate of India in 2020-21 as projected by RBI in its annual report. So it is going to be negative and it is going to contract by 4.5%. So there will be a negative growth for India. Globally also it will be a negative growth between minus 6 to minus 7. 6 percentage. So this will be between this range. Next question is Facebook has proposed to expand which feature to Indian users in near future. So it is Facebook news. It is already launched in USA and recently Facebook decided to expand this feature to India, UK, Germany, France and Brazil. So with this feature Facebook will provide news. Next question is India is set to begin operations of inland water trade route with which country? So this country is 
Bangladesh. So both countries will start commercial operation of riverine trade routes. That means trade through river routes. So as per this agreement, the Sonamura in Tripura to Dorkandi in Bangladesh route will be operationalized. Next question is US dollars denominated global benchmark bonds have been recently issued by which financial institution? So right answer is ADB that is Asian Development Bank. Recently ADB was also in news as India's election commissioner Ashok Lavasha resigned as election commissioner to join Asian Development Bank. So recently government appointed Mr. Rajiv Kumar as new election commissioner. Next question is on which day Women's Equality Day is observed every year. So this is observed on 26th of August. Now why this day is special because on this day American women got the constitutional right to vote. Next question is as per the report released by which organization the average income earned by Manrega workers has doubled. So this is a report by Brazil. What is Manrega? It is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. So as per this report the income for unskilled laborers has doubled to around rupee 1000 per month. Next question is which state has recently extended the AFSPA that is Armed Forces Special Powers Act for a period of six months. So this state is Assam. Now recently Assam was in news as India's longest river crossing ropeway was started in Assam. Assam was also in news because of Oba Reserve Forest as this will be converted into a wildlife sanctuary. Next question is the Union Culture Ministry has announced the formation of how many new ASI circles. So it is seven. So seven new ASI circles will be formed. Previously there were 29 circles of ASI in India. Circle means new areas or new zones. For example Hampi in Karnataka is new circle. Merit in Uttar Pradesh is another circle. Jhansi is another circle. Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh and Rajkot in Gujarat and Rai Ganj in West Bengal and Trichy in Tamil Nadu are new circles. Now ASI is under Ministry of Culture. Alhumale Central Park which was in news recently is in which country? So it is in Maldives. The capital of Maldives is Male. Now why this park was in news? Because there is a renovation work going on in this park and this project is important because India provided assistance for this project. Next question is who is the head of new forum on artificial intelligence set up by CII that is Confederation of Indian Industry. So it is going to be headed by Sandeep Patel. Now if we talk about artificial intelligence recently India joined GPAI as its founding member. What is GPAI? It is Global Partnership for Artificial Intelligence. Next question is as per the Medical Council of India which module is to be newly added in the MBBS course. So this new module is pandemic management. So this module will extend from the foundation course to the final year and this will help the doctors to meet the challenges posed by pandemics like COVID-19. Next is who is the longest serving Prime Minister or Premier of Japan? So Shinzo Abe is the longest serving. Why he was in news? Because recently he resigned due to poor health conditions. And after his resignation, LDP, that is Liberal Democratic Party, is going to select a nominee. Now, Shinzo Abe was known for his economic policies and, and it is popularly known as Abenomics. Next is Phil Hogan, who has tendered his resignation, was the trade commissioner of which international association? So, he was the trade commissioner of European Union and recently he resigned. He resigned because of the allegations that he breached the COVID-19 guidelines and that is why he was forced to resign. It is important to note that he was the trade commissioner of European Union. Next question is which global organization launched a new initiative named Beirut to rebuild the heritage buildings of Beirut. So Beirut is the capital of Lebanon and this new initiative has been launched by UNESCO that is United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization. Now what is the objective of this initiative? Objective is to rehabilitate the heritage buildings situated in Beirut. It is important to note that because of the recent blast or recent explosion in Beirut, a lot of historical buildings were damaged. Next question is Golden Arrows is a squadron of which Indian Armed Force? 
so it is a squadron of IAF that is Indian Air Force and the new Rafale fighter jets are going to be inducted in the 17th squadron of IAF and it is also known as Golden Arrows and for this ceremony India has also invited the French Defense Minister the name of Defense Minister of France is Florence Parle. Next question is which state is to set up India's first skill university so this state is Assam so government of Assam is going to set up the first skill university at Mangaldoi and it is in Assam in Darang district next question is which government scheme has approximately 20 lakh subscriptions in the current financial year so this is Atal pension Yojana. now the scheme was launched in 2015 and it is universal social security scheme and the scheme is administered by PF RDA and it is administered through NPS what is NPS it is national pension system what is PF RDA it is pension fund regulatory and development authority next question is which state or union territory is to set up India's first international women's trade center so this will be set up by Kerala and this is going to be India's first international women's trade center Kerala was also in news because of Thumbi Mahotsav. Kerala was also in news because of Onam festival. It was also in news because of Polikali. Polikali is tiger dance. Next question is what is the name of typhoon that made a landfall recently in North Korea. So the name of the typhoon is Bavi. Now recently North Korea was also in news as Indian government sent 1 million worth of anti-tuberculosis medicine to North Korea on the request of WHO that is World Health Organization the capital of North Korea is Pyongyang the capital of South Korea is Seoul now recently North Korea was also in news as European Union has imposed first ever sanctions over cyber attacks on the organizations of Russia China and of North Korea so that was all for the day thank you